Hi guys, uh, my name is Darcy and I am a wine importer and wine sales rep and today I want to talk to you about one of the brands that we carry which is Sonar Wines um, and kind of go over what it is. It's music infused wine which is so difficult and kind of tricky to kind of get your head around so I think this would be a good opportunity for us to share some wines and also why isn't anyone talking about wine on YouTube? I mean, there's like a little bit, but I'm sick and tired of seeing makeup videos, you guys. I gotta see something fun. I wanna know about the wine. So if that's you, join us. And hit the subscribe button right down there. Or maybe over there. I don't know where it is on YouTube, but I know it's a thing, so. Okay, so I wanted to go over kind of what this wine is like. I wanted to go over just the label, the flavor, and obviously the smell and everything. Um, so that you can get the most out of the wine and so the wine can get the most out of you enjoying it. And um, I decided since we are looking to launch our online platform that I would be the very first person to order and see what this packaging and everything turns out to look like. So I decided I was going to be a little bit aggressive and I ordered six bottles. I ordered a half a case. Um, you can do one, six, or twelve. Um, but I decided I was going to go right in between because uh, this looked really good. And this is what it came in, this nice little box, has little handles, um, and then it brings a little note. So I don't don't know what's on there yet, so we're going to figure out what is on there and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to start with the basics. Um, this is a Zweigelt Rosé. So Zweigelt is the type of grape that was used and basically it is a cross between a Saint Laurent and a Blau Frankish and uh, this comes from Austria Vienna. So the first thing you can see uh, where it's like a tail tail, like a strong tail, tail, tail tail, tail tail. Tail tail? What is it? Can we Google this one? Tail? Tail tail? Doesn't matter sign that it is an Austrian wine is it's going to have the Austrian flag up top with a little number uh, and basically this number is going to give you an indication of vintage it is, uh, where in Austria it was grown, the type of soil that was used to grow it, obviously the type of grape, but even the uh, essential things like the amount of acidity in the water that um, was produced that year from rainfall. Um, they really, the Austrians do a really good job of tracking all of their wine production and they're very organized with it. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to start with this rosé, it's Zweigelt rosé, especially the Austrian version of it. Um, and we're going to go over the label next and then we're going to figure out why this is so different. Stay tuned. up close um, that is a deep color that is not your average Lay down. Okay, so we're gonna take a second now to digest uh, this bottle outside and inside, obviously. Um, we're gonna start with the first front label and the very top of it is the brand Sonar Wines America. So this company is absolutely outrageous for what they're doing, but incredibly smart. Um, and I absolutely love the concept of it. So basically, they engineered an underwater speaker that goes into the fermentation tank. And as the wine is fermenting, they play different styles of music. So in, you know, in this case, it would be Dion Todd. This is his music that was played into this wine. Uh, and basically what that does is it creates a longer fermentation period for the wine in a shorter amount of time. So it keeps the yeast alive between 40 and 60% longer without necessarily taking that much more time. So you get a wine that tastes really, really good, that isn't that old. Uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Okay, so as you can see, I've already had a few glasses. I'm trying my best, you guys. Um, we're going to go over the smell and taste. Wow, that is very deep. It's like 
fresh green grass and berries, like a bowl full of berries. Darker berries, I would say, like blackberries, raspberries. Mmm, wow, that's fabulous. It almost tastes like it's carbonated. That's interesting. So that happens because of the micro oxidization that is created within the speaker system during the fermentation process. Um, so that's kind of neat because it's not carbonated, but when you put it in your mouth and the tip of your tongue specifically touches it, it tastes like it's almost carbonated. Not fully, but almost. Mm. It's very creamy and very full. So there's a lot of glycerin base in the type of alcohol that this has. So basically what it does is it coats your mouth fully. Um, and then when you take another sip, now your whole mouth is covered with it. So it's gonna really give you that full flavor. Um, it's not just gonna be that little bit, it's the whole thing. Mm. has a very, very delicious wine. It tastes like summer, honestly. It tastes like a glass full of a beautiful summer's day, which is why we decided to do this outside because it's so beautiful outside and why not? We have a note. And I'm excited because I didn't expect them to put any effort into this whatsoever. So this shall be exciting, different. Oh, it's a little thank you note. That's so cute. Okay, wait, first of all, how cute is this little paper? That's adorable and it just slides right out. Thank you for your recent purchase. Pair this wine with any type of pasta, fish, and soft cheese. Love Stoner Wines. That's so cute. Okay, wait, and now I know what to make for dinner. I'm gonna make some pasta and maybe some fish. Are you guys down? Go. Oh no, I wanted to start like this. Why do you start like that? Okay. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> We're not welcoming <laughs> back. Stop welcoming them back. There's not I'm a commercial so break. <laughs> There's no commercials. <laughs> Just say thank you. <laughs> I hate to stop drinking this wine. You good? So one more thing I forgot to mention before uh, I wrap this up is the technology part can actually come to you. So if you take your phone, pull your camera out and scan it, scan the QR code that's on the back. Then a link pops up to the top. You can hit play. Thank you so much, guys. All the links are gonna be below for Sonar Wines America, for Dion Todd, for this song, for this wine. Uh, don't forget to check out their store locator so that you can see exactly the nearest spot for you to find this wine. And just let me know what you thought of it if you do get a chance to try it.